Obviously, an 18-year-old theoretically should have more capacity emotionally to manage seeing unwanted content than a 12-year-old, okay? And, and nine times out of 10, that's going to be the case. But it also depends on a lot of other variables as well. It depends on what their relationship is like with their parents. And so a 12-year-old that has a relationship with their parents where they can go to them and understand and feel safe as though they're not going to berate me for going on here and seeing something that they're going to support me, that we're all going to be very contained and they're going to be, um, you know, debriefing with me. Um, that is a world of difference between that and a, and a 12-year-old who feels like I'm going to hide this from my parents because I don't want them to see it because they're going to get very angry and they're never going to let me have my phone again. And again, so this comes back down to the grander kind of strategies that I use in my clinic, Charlie, that it's very rarely useful to ban something for like six months or a year, right? These long sweeping bans of you can't have TikTok for another year now because one thing went wrong. Um, it's much more preferable to use short and sharp bands, you know, a day, two days, three days, because then your child has this sense of, okay, I'm going to talk to mum and dad about this. I'm going to get that validation and support I need if I've seen something that I, I'm worried about. And I know that the consequence will be a few days, which, by the way, in a 12-year-old's world is like forever. But there shouldn't be these sweeping bands because when, when we get into that scenario, you're much more likely for them to close up. And what will happen is when they actually need your help, they're just not going to tell you.